Hey guys, it's Amanda. Thank you for coming by my channel today and watching my video. I truly appreciate it. Today's video is a special video because it is part of a collab hosted by Small Town 6. It is a Food Wars Challenge collab and this month's theme was cookies. So that means that we either had to use cookie as the ingredient or make cookies. So make sure that you check out her channel. She's got a lot of awesome content. And please make sure that you also check out the playlist of all the other lovely creators that are making content for this collab. So first up we have Oreo brownies. And you'll just start off by making your brownies according to package instructions. I just used a box brownie mix, made it easy. You can make them homemade or however you like to make them. And then um, I also did add chocolate chips to my batter, which was not in the original recipe, which will be linked um, in the description box below for you. But you just make your brownies according to package instructions, and then you'll spray a 9x9 baking dish, and you'll pour in half your brownie mix, and then top that layer with Oreos. I think I got about 16 Oreos, so half a package um, on in the middle of the brownies. And then you'll top with the rest of your brownie mix. The problem that I ran into and why they <laughs> look a little funky at the end is because I think I, since I added the chocolate chips, it made the Oreos a little higher in the pan. And so when it baked, the brownie mix just baked around the Oreos instead of actually fluffing up above for the Oreos. Um, but, but it definitely did not affect the taste at all. These were actually very, very good. I know they may look a little messy and look a little weird, but they were actually awesome. So you'll just preheat your oven to 325 and you'll cook these for 35 to 45 minutes. It all depends on your oven, so keep an eye on them. And here they are guys, this is what they look like when they came out of the oven. I know they look a little wonky and you can actually see the cookies. But I think that was all because of the chocolate chips, but they were really, really good. And we will definitely be making these again. They're so easy and so quick. Next up, we have cranberry oatmeal cookies. And this time I chose to make a cookie instead of using it as an ingredient. And so you'll just start off by putting your butter and all your sugar into a bowl and creaming it for about four minutes um, until it's all creamy and smooth. Once it's well combined and smooth, you're going to add in your eggs and your vanilla and mix that pretty well, probably for about a minute. Make sure that's well incorporated too. Now the recipe didn't call for me to make a separate bowl for my dry ingredients. I just chose to do so so they don't get clumpy when I mix them all together. So you're going to add in your oats, your flour, your cornstarch, your baking soda, and your salt. And you'll mix it well and then pour it into your wet ingredients and mix that until well combined. And then you'll add in your cranberries. I just wanted to take a minute out to say if you came over from the collab or if you're new, welcome. I'm Amanda. Thank you for coming by and watching my video today. I truly, truly appreciate it. I'm always doing easy recipes and quick meals and sharing new ideas and sharing a lot of meal inspiration. So if that interests you, please don't forget to subscribe and comment below and say hi. Thank you for coming by. I truly appreciate it. Then you'll want to preheat your oven to 365 degrees and put your cookies on a cookie sheet or baking pan. As you see, I'm using my pizza pans because they're tried and true. They may be old, but they work for me. And then you'll want to cook them for 9 to 11 minutes. My oven, I cooked them for 10 minutes and they came out perfect.
So here they are straight out of the oven and yes the pan was a little bit hot but I wanted to show you guys the bottoms of the cookies and how they're lightly browned and crispy on the edges and they're nice and soft in the middle. And once they're done baking you will want to take them off the pan and put them onto a cooling rack until they're completely cooled and then you can either eat them or store them um, but I believe that I got 59 cookies out of this batch. And that's a jar of cookies. <laughs> the ones in the back there, I put those in the freezer because they wouldn't fit. But this is how we store cookies on the countertop. I know it's probably bad for them sitting there staring at me all day long, but hey, it works. Both of these cookie recipes turned out really good. I hope you'll give them a try. And thank you again for stopping by and watching my video today. It truly means a lot. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and hit the notification bell. I also linked Small Town Six's channel in the playlist to this collab down below. So please don't forget to check it out. And I hope everyone has an awesomely amazing, wonderful day.